So I get asked quite a bit, how do you surf when you, when you can't see? People get really fixated on using their eyes to do things. Surfers use feel quite a lot, but they just don't realise it. When a surfer's turning at the bottom of a wave, doing a bottom turn, they're feeling with their feet what's happening. They're not looking at the bottom of the wave, they're probably looking at where they're going to go to next. So they're actually feeling the wave. So with me, I've just got to be tuned in a lot more to feeling the waves. So the top of a wave will be quite steep and then as it gets closer to the bottom, the gradient changes until it's almost flat. So I, could, I sort of feel as that gradient changes and then I know I can turn back up the top and then as I feel it gets to the steeper part, then I, can, I turn and go back down again. So it's just feeling the different gradient and it's just experience. I've been surfing since I was a young kid and I've caught a lot of waves and I, I know sort of, I get the feel, but I do make a lot of mistakes in the water and I do take off on, on closeouts and getting bruises and, and cuts and it's just part and parcel of doing what I do. When I was growing up and still now when I'm surfing, like I'm out with my, with my brother Stu or I'm out with my mates and they'll occasionally tell me, go this way matey and I'll, I'll paddle and it's, a, and it's a close out and sighted guys take off on close outs every now and then too. I just probably get 10 times more than most people. My biggest concern really in the water is hitting someone else, which obviously is a reality. So I have to take that into consideration as well when I'm going out. If it's, if it's too crowded, I probably have to either not go out or just pick the wave where, the, where there's no one, no one around. Everything I do, really, I have to create my own processes and my own, my own way of doing things. In a work situation, in a meeting or a boardroom, I use energy. I can feel what's happening in the room. I know what a certain person in the room is doing, if they're engaged in their conversation or if, they, or if they've got a wall up or if they're blocking. Or, and I can hear by the tone of their voice what's happening. So I'm not distracted by facial features, which a lot of sighted people use to engage and manage a room. Yeah, so last year I went to World Championships Adaptive Surfing in La Jolla and got to take my brother with me, Stu, and it was just amazing to be able to go and compete together. He was my spotter in the water and we've surfed together for, for 30 years and to come away with a, a bronze medal and yeah, to, to have done that together was just such an amazing trip and the vibe of the whole Adaptive Surfing movement is crazy. Like I've been involved in a lot of sports and it's definitely the most positive and encouraging and like accepting. Everybody just wants to help each other and everyone wants to be part of it and and give information and, and share that, that knowledge. Whereas in a lot of other sports I've done, it's been really cutthroat and adaptive surfing is just all about everyone just enjoying the waves and being the best surfer that they can be and, and everyone helping each other to, to achieve what they can achieve. So I just, just love it. So a lot of the times when I surf, I surf with other people and they spot for me so they'll tell me when a wave's coming and what direction it's going so if it's a right or a left-handed wave uh, but I, I can surf by myself and I do yeah fully 50% of the time these days. I uh, Unlike sighted surfers that will see a wave coming from a long way away and paddle towards where they think the wave's going to be I'll sort of feel at the last minute and within sort of from being at the bottom of the the ditch of where the, the wave um, is to the top to the crest that's where I start paddling and and then I'll, I'll take off. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty comfortable taking a late, doing a late takeoff, and pretty comfortable going going real deep because that's uh, that's just how I get waves. It's just just by feel. At the end of the day, it's all very worthwhile. I get to surf, and I get to do things that able-bodied people do, and I get to just enjoy life. And that, for me, is just yeah, it's all worth it.